Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS. I'm your host, Joe Zagacki, as we come to you from Alex Rodriguez Park at Mark Lane Field. For the University of Miami, it's a big week as the Hurricanes will be on the road taking on second-ranked and their arch-rival, Florida State. That's coming up. But last weekend, the Hurricanes struggled on the road against the Hokies of Virginia Tech, where Miami lost two out of three. Just didn't pitch well enough late in the game to win. You know, we uh, obviously won Friday night and, and took a lead going into the eighth on Saturday. <clears throat> Couldn't hold on to that one and uh, being down one nothing for, for eight innings on uh, Sunday, our, our office did a good job of scoring two runs at the top of the ninth and we just couldn't hold them down in the bottom bottom half. You know, it, it was very disappointing. You know, we, uh, we, we could have easily come out of that weekend with a sweep, you know, so as far as I'm concerned. Um, but, you know, it, it was good to take one. You know, we would have liked to take three. I mean, um, you know, we had a, we had a great chance to, to sweep. You know, and that would have just done that would have done great things for us going into this next weekend up uh, in Tallahassee. But um, you know, it's in the past, so we got to move on and and approach the next game. The goal now for the University of Miami is to forget about Virginia Tech. Miami is tied in the Coastal Division with North Carolina. And this weekend represents a big opportunity for the Hurricanes to climb back up in the standings and the rankings with a great weekend against FSU. Well, it is. I mean, it's a great tradition. Both programs, we've been playing each other for a long, long time. And there uh, been a lot of great uh, battles going on between the two schools. And uh, normally it, it has national ramifications every time you play. Of course, one of the great wins for Miami over Florida State was a national championship for you. Right, 209, 6-5 uh, game, fly ball to left field, and Mike New throws his glove up. I won't forget that, and I thought it was going out of the ballpark, by the way, with a man on base. But when it was caught, it was your, your championship. Right, it was a great, great win for us, great win for our program, and uh, of course, the first national championship for me, Coach Frazier had two, and of course, we had, we had one in 201 against Stanford, but uh, you know, a huge, huge win, particularly after 96, I got to tell you, to kind of get that monkey off my back. Um, I think it'll be very important. Oh my gosh, it's, uh, you know, we're coming, we're coming to that point of the season where, you know, our, our ACC games are, are running out and, uh, you know, having the opportunity to play such a highly ranked team um, and, and win, you know, that's, that's the biggest thing that, uh, that we want, we want wins, and uh, that could that could change that could change our season. That could determine whether or not we're hosting a regional and a super regional. Um, but you know, you can't be focused on that that pressure. We just need to go in and have fun and play loose um, and and uh, effective baseball. Still to come here on Hurricane Game Day on CSS, we'll go one on one with head coach Jim Morris. Plus, we'll talk with pitching coach JD Ardiaga, and you'll hear from a key Hurricane player. All that and more right here on Hurricane Game Day on CSS. I think it's 296 down the line, if I'm not mistaken. I walked it off a while back, 20 years ago maybe, to see how long it was. It was it's under 300. Hurricane Game Day is brought to you by the Florida Fan Game. Think the Canes are Florida's number one fans? Prove it at Facebook.com slash share a little sunshine.
here on Hurricane Game Day with University of Miami head coach Jim Morris. And this week it is Florida State week for Miami and FSU coming up. Uh, a big series, but first coach, uh, a quick look back. Last week, three hard-fought games against Virginia Tech. Uh, two of them did not go your way. You're right. I mean, all three games came down to the ninth inning, like a lot of games do today. Uh, the games changed. Uh, the bats have changed. or more low-scoring games, so you expect every game to come down to the eighth or ninth inning, which it did. And, of course, uh, we walked into tie and run on, on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we hit a couple guys in the ninth, and they got a big base hit uh, uh, to win the game. So two walk-offs for them, which is a tough way to, uh, to leave the game. I can tell you, if you never left the game in a walk-off and you got nothing to do, so walk off the field and... And that's the reason they say it's a tough loss. Really, your bullpen's been good for most of the season. Uh, in this instance, uh, it kind of let you down. It did. It did. You know, we uh, uh, got Erickson out after, uh, you know, seven innings, and he was getting a little tired. And he pitched great. And our star, all three starters do great. And, uh, you know, our bullpen's just got to get it done late. But we got to get some hits, too. We, we, we put so much pressure right now on our pitch, and we're not scoring runs. So it's a combination of both things. Well, maybe one of the reasons why it's tougher for you to score runs right now is uh, two of your big bats are injured, and you've had to deal with injuries all season long, but now you're dealing with Pete O'Brien and Ronnie Rodriguez, both injured. Well, it's our three, four hitters, so that's huge. You know, not having those guys in, in, uh, in the lineup. And uh, uh, both of them are kind of day-to-day, -day, but very, very questionable for, uh, for Florida State. Uh, when you lose three and four, uh, where do you go? How do you, what, how do you change the approach? You know, it's, it's just move guys up, and a couple of guys that weren't in the lineup gets to come in the lineup, get a chance. And somebody's got to step it up. You know, and sometimes it gives a guy to, to step it up a chance, and and he gets it done, and and then he's the star. And that's happened with Charlton Zimmer's 1999, I guess it was, when he got his first opportunity. 1999, Miami, Florida State, Omaha, Nebraska. You beat him for the national championship. Yeah, huge win, huge win. You know, of course, uh, in Omaha, the College World Series, everything. Uh, first World Series for me, and uh, uh, could have been for Florida State. Uh, when Miami and Florida State play in baseball, uh, I don't know if there's anything quite like it. The intensity level is extremely high, and it's always been that way. It has been, and, and I enjoy going to Tallahassee and playing. We've had some big games here. It's always sold out, and it's, it's, it's just uh, it's something always happens. I don't know what it is, but something always happens to make it a little bit different series than your normal series. Plus, there's always a lot of marbles. Uh, uh, on the game right there. They've got a good club. They're ranked second in the country. Uh, second in the country, first in the ACC. Actually, they're, they're blowing the ACC away with a 16-2 and record. No one's close to that, so they're having a great season. Uh, really solid pitching, outstanding defense, and they're swinging the bat. Uh, usually when you go to Florida State, your teams play well. Why do you think your teams play so well under your leadership in Tallahassee? I don't know, but I hope the next year you're asking that same question. You know, uh, it, it's a very, very important uh, big series, uh, one that our players look forward to. A lot of our players know their guys, and and so it's just a, it's a big series. Not only are they ranked number two, but it's just the fact that you have a little bit of bragging rights within the state. They have a uh, looks like they've got a well balanced club, some guys hitting well over 300, and some very solid pitching. They do, and they're led by Ramsey, the outfielder, center fielder, who's came back after being drafted his junior year, and is having a He's our captain, a solid guy that, uh, that uh, knows his father very well, outstanding player from, from Atlanta, actually, like his dad played at Florida State, and, uh, and uh, just a very solid club all the way around. Is one of the keys there keeping the ball in the ballpark? The dimensions to right field are still pretty short, always have been with that big, uh, big screen out there. Or has I actually I can remember when the screen wasn't there, but it's been a long time. But uh, uh, it's a unique field with a short right field. I think it's 296 down the line, if I'm not mistaken. I walked it off a while back, 20 years ago maybe, to see how long it was. It was it's, it's under 300, and uh, it comes into play just like the uh, the wall in Fenway Park comes into way. Uh, it's right field. What will be some of the things that will be important for your team to do in order to win this series? Well, I think not put guys on base, whether it's for walks or errors, not give them opportunities because they're a club. And in that ballpark particularly, you put a lot of guys on base, you can give up a home run at any time to any hitter, whether it's them or us, and, and just make sure you play solid and don't give them opportunities, make them earn everything they get. And as you mentioned, the stakes are high. You're tied in the division with North Carolina. Florida State's ranked second in the country. You're, you're 12th, so a good weekend propels you in the right direction, higher in the rankings and higher in the standings. No question. I mean, we saw what happened two weeks ago when we played North Carolina, and they were ranked number three in the country. We beat them three uh, times, and we jumped, for, jumped from like 13 to six. 
And we also saw what can happen if you go lose to a club that's not ranked like Virginia Tech and you lose two out of three, we drop from six to 12 in the ABCA poll. And that's the one I look at, the American Baseball Coaches Association. So great opportunity for the club this weekend. Great opportunity, just like we did against North Carolina. We got to go out and play solid, get good pitch, and get our bullpen to finish it off and get some key hits. Yeah, we know what you're going to get, you know, and uh, he's, a, he's our most consistent guy in the, in, as far as our weekend starter. And then he's going to come out again, like I said, just give us a chance to win. He's going to go six, seven strong innings every game. He's not going to walk, guys. He's going to give his hit, you know, scatter his hits here and there and, uh, and keep us in the game. Hurricane Game Day is brought to you by the Florida Fan Game. Think the Canes are Florida's number one fans? Prove it at Facebook.com slash Share a Little Sunshine.